Okay, shall we start? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the third after class talk of 2022 on international students under the topic Ramadan around the world. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, which is celebrated by all Muslims. Ramadan is celebrated all around the world with celebrations, togetherness, and sumptuous meals. Traditionally, Ramadan fast is broken with dates and water followed by a light meal. However, there is a range of food items that are made especially during Ramadan and are known all over the world. Also, a lot of unique cultures only happen in Ramadan. Luckily today, we have some friends from different countries who can chit-chat together with us about their tradition during Ramadan. Okay, so before we start the event, maybe we'll introduce ourselves. So my name is Dia or Didi, and today I'm joined by Wani, and we are the MC for today's event. So um, thank you for joining us. Before we start the event, I would like to welcome our distinguished guest, Director of Strategic Partnership and International Office, Ibu Lia Yudinawati, Manager of International Office, Ibu Indah Fajarwati, Assistant Manager of International Mobility, Ibu Lia Maria, and Assistant Manager of International Services, Ibu Mefti Septiani. And for our speaker for today will be international students from University Malaysia Pahang and KNB students from Pakistan and Kazakhstan. Hello everyone, uh, you can please say hi to the audience. <laughs> okay. okay, and also uh, I would like to welcome all international students and our students from Indonesia. Hello everyone and welcome. Okay, so... Okay. To know that you are here, the virtual participants, please wave your virtual hand using the wave icon, please. Yeah? Can you please uh, wave your virtual hand? Okay, nice. Thank you. And now I would like to tell you about the rules of this event. Okay, you can see the rules on the screen. So the first one, all participants should turn on the camera during the event. The second one, all participants should turn off the microphone during the setting session and may turn on the microphone if want to ask a question or state opinion. Number three, during the sharing session, all participants can ask questions to the speakers or to the other participants. And the number four, for those who want to ask questions directly to the speakers or to other participants, Kindly use raise hand icon on the reaction feature. And on the number five, the participants can drop the question on the chat box as well. And on the number six, there will be a door prize during the event. Okay. So now I would like to invite our guest speaker for today. The guest speaker. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, nice. It's nice to see you all here. Um, in case there is someone that hasn't known you yet, please introduce yourself. Uh, we'll start with by this Mrs. Over here. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fasihayuni Binti Mamayaya, and I'm from Malaysia. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nasa Bin Shaza bin Zaharisham and I'm from Malaysia. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Ima bin Tinordin. I'm from Malaysia. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Shafika. I'm from Malaysia. Okay, please introduce Hello, my name is Imran Ahmad and I'm from Pakistan. I'm a student of Master in Management. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, uh, my name is Muhammad Zulfahmi bin Muhammad Yunus. Uh, I come from Malaysia and my university is University of Malaysia Pahang. Thank you. Thank you. 
Next please. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Ni Akif Danis bin Sahazim, and I'm from Malaysia. Hello everyone. My name is Nona Dejakira, and I'm from Malaysia. Thank you so much, everyone, for introducing yourself. So, to open today's um, discussion or chatting, I guess, we would like to ask you guys a few questions. So, for the first one, how do you feel about um, fasting in a country that is far away from your family? I want to ask you. Uh, first of all, thank you for the questions. Uh, this is a new uh, experience for me to fasting uh, far from family and being out of, uh, out of my country. Uh, and I can try um, many new uh, foods and the new culture here. Um, do you enjoy like fasting in Indonesia perhaps? Okay, nice. Perhaps Wani, you could ask. Maybe anyone want to add? I want to answer from you. Oh, maybe you could. Uh, <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, I think you asked about the difference uh, between both country. Yeah, and how, like how do you feel about like fasting that far away from your family? It's kind of, kind of lonely. Lonely. Oh, uh, how do you? And uh, I think uh, the major difference about the timing. Timing. No, like timing to break the fast. Kaya, uh, what is it? Like puasa, tapi jauh dari keluarga. Apa yeah. rasanya? Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> But do you enjoy fasting in Indonesia, perhaps? Oh, totally. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Even though you are far from far from your family. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. We have some difficulties in time difference, right? As you say. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, maybe from anyone want to answer to. Anyone want to answer to? Perhaps you can raise your hand. Ikan boleh lah. Uh. Fasting here is easy, like as I compare to my country, and mostly I'm free of my homework. Sometimes my mother used to say, just bring this from the market. Uh, and I don't feel lonely because I found my family here, my friends, so I used to fast with them, breaking my fast with them. I'm happy here. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Okay. Okay, maybe we can move on to the next question. Um, since we already talked about how your uh, experience in fasting in Indonesia, but how is about the Ramadan vibe in your country? Maybe you can explain it like uh, the big contrast uh, compared to here in Indonesia. Uh, anyone want to go first? Do you want to go first perhaps? Oh, Imran lagi. Okay. <laughs> first of all, thank you for this beautiful evening. And uh, yeah, it's a difference from my country too, but in our country, they mainly focus on three things in Ramadan. They call it the love month, and mostly they do prayers uh, as compared to the um, rest of the months. And the most important thing, they focus on the food. <laughs> so I think they uh, focus on the food and eat a lot in Ramadan. And it's kind of happiness and love they share with each other. In the evening time, mostly if it's a poor house or a rich house, they just send food to everyone. So in the evening, you can see mostly people, they love each other and they share their food and make this a holy month with the love. Okay, very nice. That's an interesting uh, tradition in Pakistan. How about uh, maybe in Malaysia? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, like my friend said earlier, uh, we sahur in Malaysia like uh, about uh, 5 uh, a.m. And in Indonesia, we uh, sahur like earlier and uh, 4 a.m. And uh, we got the time difference. Uh, and uh, in Indonesia, I guess uh, we break the fast uh, earlier because in Indonesia we uh, we want uh, we have to wait uh, until seven 
7 p.m. I guess. And in uh, in Indonesia, uh, uh, about 5 p.m., uh, we already can break uh, our fast. And about the in Malaysia, we have a bazaar bazaar Ramadan, uh, like uh, the pasar jajah in here. Uh, and uh, in Malaysia, about the food, uh, we uh, we don't have any. Uh, we don't have a kind of food like tajil in here. Tajil. Tajil and uh, we uh, uh, usually uh, break our fast using kueh and muih, kueh muih, kueh, uh, kueh in here. Oh, okay. Uh, kueh and uh, others uh, like uh, rice and uh, the bigger portion. Uh, oh, okay. That's, nice. okay. That's really interesting. <laughs> okay, maybe from other... Uh, from the other speakers, perhaps? Uh, as you can see, yeah, we have a different time, which is uh, we break at Malaysia is 7.30, and uh, in here we are at 5.50, like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit rushing because at 5.00, uh, in Malaysia, we are start cook. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they have also a traditional food which is a bubo lambo. This that is a like a rice with cook with a milk meat meat. Ah uh, yeah, and also it's uh, with a coconut milk. Ah. Uh, you should try because it's set up. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, different. Yeah, and I also don't sure if uh, it have lemang or ketupat in here, but yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I cannot find. <laughs> And um, after we finish uh, Traweh, we also have a uh, mole. We call it mole. Uh, it is a supper, like a supper. Uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes I eat a uh, laksa like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we can get the food at the most for free. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so there's a lot of so eating much. here. <laughs> yeah. So, perhaps anyone to answer to? Maybe? No? Okay. Or the virtual, oh, what is it? There is a chat. Okay. Oh, um, perhaps for someone you could maybe just open your mic perhaps, so we could like talk to each other, you know? Yeah, maybe from the participants want uh, to share also about their experience mm -hmm. in their own country. You could raise your hand or so. For open your, what is it from my GT mat? Maybe you want to open up your mic, perhaps, to talk. Like. Selamat sore. Selamat sore. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I just want to mention that uh, I'm right now. I'm cooking for iftar, so. Uh, if it's okay with you, I will not open my camera, but uh, for the experience and the difference about Ramadan in my country and Indonesia, it's like uh, the same because all Muslim countries uh, have the same uh, culture, some kind of. So uh, we, we are cooking uh, for iftar, mainly in our country, women are cooking in, in the homes. So just men and bringing something from town, from the shop. Uh, so for now, nowadays, uh, like uh, I feel wonderful here because I found friend here. We are cooking together, having iftar together and sahur as well together. Hey, nice. That's nice. I, I should try that. Yeah. Anyone want to open mic too, perhaps in the virtual participants? Maybe from half in the world. Yeah, Hello, from... everyone. Hello, yeah, we could hear you. 
not sorry, Samania. Uh, I'm a Fizilam Musawi from Afghanistan. I'm a student at UNPAR currently. And uh, I want to talk about some differences between Ramazan in my country, Afghanistan and Indonesia. And uh, first of all, we have a one day holiday in the beginning of Ramazan in our country. Mm -hmm. The, we have a three-day holiday at the end of Ramadan, which is Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Fitri in Indonesia, Bahas, Indonesia. And uh, also uh, the timeline for jobs and works are changed in Ramadan, um, at least three hours. Before Ramadan, people usually work from 8 to 4 p.m. But in during Ramadan, we work from 8 to 1 p.m. every day. And uh, as uh, Majid Himat mentioned, during Ramadan, people usually cook. It is not like Indonesia that people buy food online. So, and uh, of course, uh, cooking, uh, women are usually in charge of cooking in Afghanistan most of the times because they are in house. Most of the women do not work outside, most of the women. And uh, people are usually uh, go to masjids during the nights, especially Qadr nights, which which are after twenty of Ramadan. Uh, Qadr nights, they are busy with prayers, with uh, reciting Quran Karim and other kind of prayers. And uh, also, uh, we have another tradition in Afghanistan, which, which is called Ramazani or Ramadani, which uh, people, uh, teenagers or youths, uh, go to behind the doors of people. They have a thing called Ramazani. They sing this. This is somehow fun. And the people are supposed to pay money for them. So this is very famous in many places in Afghanistan. And these are the differences between Afghanistan and Indonesia. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. That's a really cool tradition we yeah, have in yeah. Afghanistan. There are a few differences between yeah. Afghanistan and Indonesia, right? That's yeah. so true. So, on to the next question, perhaps. Uh, um, is there any like special culture that only happens during Ramadan in your country? Like in Indonesia, there is this event called Pawai Obor, and we what is it? The people around the area like walk around their houses at about eight or nine p.m. ish, and the purpose of that event is to like welcome the holy month of Ramadan. Is there anything like special culture from your country, perhaps? Like special events, maybe perhaps, or maybe eating together, or. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, like, um, is there any like special culture on that only happens during Ramadan on your country? Like, is it clear? Uh, so it means uh, during Ramadan or before Ramadan? During Ramadan, or perhaps before Ramadan, like the event that you do when you are welcoming Ramadan or something like that. Oh, okay. Samar uh, Sore, my name is Abdullah. I'm from Zanzibar, Tanzania. Uh, I'm a student at ITB, master's degree. Uh, in Zanzibar, especially Tanzania, we have one day celebration before Ramadan. And Mostly, uh, people used to cook the best or the common food like uh, biryan to celebrate for coming Ramadan or welcoming Ramadan. So this is how we do in, in our country. Okay, nice. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Is there anyone want to share about their culture, about the event, the special event on Ramadan only, something like that? Perhaps. Uh, how about if do you have some want to share? Maybe? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a celebration, but it's all right. 
it's okay to share your story mm, after the subo mm -hmm. and mm, uh, some people will stay at the mosque mm -hmm. and they will uh, the rest together until about eight or nine o'clock oh uh, wow yeah um i think that's <laughs> oh, okay it's fine so, does there anyone want to share too perhaps no or for the virtual participant is there anyone to share about their special only ramadan oh majid raise your hand please open uh, the mic yeah uh, uh again uh, from afghanistan i'm saying about the culture of afghanistan as uh, previously uh said Musavi said we have a special event during Ramadan that uh, youths and people are gathering together uh, during night uh, after eight o'clock and they are going to knock uh, the door of other people for saying like it's we call it Ramazani Ramadani so uh, they are knocking the doors of other people and uh, congratulate them that Ramadan is here and they are uh, they are paying for them and some kind of some time they, they drink tea there, uh, ate some food there and stay for, for a while there. So uh, that's one uh, tradition we have. Um, one another we have that for like uh, in Indonesia, I mostly in Bandung, where we live is like uh, uh, Dago. So uh, in the time when there's Sahur time, uh, people are just saying like Sahur, Sahur, uh, wake up and get ready, we have the same culture as well. Uh, we have a special group in, in each village that they have drums and during, uh, uh, after two o'clock uh, in the morning, they, they wake up and uh, like doing dreams that wake up, it's time for Sahur, it's time for, uh, for Sehari. Uh, so that, that's the two uh, culture we have in our country. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah, okay. really interest in uh, doing the Ramadani tradition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so, are there any participants that want to share? Also, mm -hmm. oh, is there anyone want to share? Oh, you? Okay, sure. Uh, I think in Malaysia, uh, the special one uh, when during Ramadan is Bazaar Ramadan. Oh. Uh, but we have uh, Bazaar Ramadan. Every place, uh, every uh, village mm -hmm. has their own uh, Bazaar Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So the people uh, at their own area don't don't uh, don't want uh, don't have to uh, go uh, the far away from their home. Mm -hmm. uh, they can just buy uh, near from their home. Oh. The Bazaar Ramadan uh, in Bazaar Ramadan, they have a lot of variety food, uh, mm -hmm. so they can buy anything they want. Okay, nice. Yeah, we also have that too in Indonesia, yeah. right? Yeah, Bazaar Ramadan, there's a lot. The food are real delicious yeah. there. And it's that one so source of traffic jam in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's kind of sad. stressing. <laughs> Thank you so much for your answer. So I think we can, I think we can continue. Okay, maybe first I want to ask, is there anyone from the virtual participants want to share their Ramadan stories perhaps with us? It's okay if you are from Indonesia or if you are from Malaysia, you can just turn on your mic and then we can talk with each other, you know. Is there anyone want to? No? Okay. Okay, there's from Naila Felicia. Oh, Naila Felicia. Naila Felicia. Yes, hello guys. Uh but this I want I just want to ask question. Uh I want to ask to you guys uh from your another countries, is there any even uh like sahur on the road or uh mm. giving some iftar meals on the road in your countries? Just like that, my question. Thank you. Okay, so from the speakers, I will reiterate the question again. So is there like sahur on the road, sahur on the road, or like 
um, sharing iftar with people on the road, perhaps in your countries? Yeah, you want to share? Okay. Yeah, mostly at, uh, in the capital city and the Punjab side, people do share food on the road, uh, especially after iftar time. And in village in my, my hometown, they usually offer uh, juices and some kind of food and mostly they get together uh, we have a biggest dam in pakistan here so they do it on the side of the river and they okay. invite all the people okay. so, and they iftar together from one plate mm -hmm. yeah. yeah wow one one plate so awesome this nice. must be a memorable memorable experience for them yeah. Is there anyone want to answer to perhaps the missus over here? Yeah, want to answer the question? Okay, it's okay. Well, has that answered to your question? Yeah, Naila, Naila, does that answer your question perhaps? Uh, yes, all right. Uh, thank you for your answer. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, for the I next I want to question. add something. Okay, okay, thank you. Please yeah. go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, we, ha we have the same uh, culture uh, in the villages uh, that the people are coming to the streets and saying like sahur sahur, but not like they're calling, just we have drum drums, like they're uh, beating drums that it's time of sahur. And uh, one more thing, uh, in Eftari, uh, mostly in cities, uh, the richest people just distribute uh, foods uh, in the streets and as well as in the mosques. But in the villages, we have uh, one like rare culture. Uh, that, that's uh, uh, most people, all the people, uh, everyone bring their food to mosque. And after praying um, uh, salat, then they, they ate together. That's, that's the rare culture we have in villages, not in the cities, but in villages. Okay. okay, I mean, we, we got the same one too, like beating the drum out of nowhere on 2 a.m., like waking so everyone true. for sahur. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of noisy, but nice. <laughs> shouting while playing drum. Yeah, right. Shouting while playing drum, it is, yeah. Is there anyone want to answer the question too, perhaps, from the virtual participants? Yes, yes, I want to add something. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the issues of uh, sahur the issues of drums uh, is common in every uh, country where there is the Muslim. Uh, for example, in our country, we also have some kind of groups who have drums. During the time of uh, Sahur, they play their drums so that to remind people that this is the time for Sahur. Also, uh, the people's there are some people on the masjid, those who uh, make adhan, they also use that opportunity to advise, I mean, to remind people that this is a time of sahur. And also uh, the issue of iftar, uh, during the other months, we usually eat inside the, uh, our house, but during the Ramadan in our country, we usually uh, eat outside uh, the house. For example, uh, most of the families, they prefer uh, to eat outside the house so that whenever there is, there is anyone who passes through, they will call them and uh, they can join together for the iftar. So that is how we, we are doing. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Uh, but if um, I may ask, uh, who does the sahur sahur thing? Because uh, in Indonesia, I think it's a group of kids and yeah, males. Yes, like, like about uh, is it ten years old, uh -huh. perhaps? Maybe it's the same for you. Who are the people that do? That? Yeah, who are the people that shout and what is it? Hit the drum, waking up people for sahur. Perhaps it is kids or maybe adults yeah. jointly. Mostly kids here, right? Yeah, it's kids on kids only here. Yeah. Perhaps anyone want to answer the question too? <laughs> Hungry guys. <laughs> Sebentar lagi kita buka puasa. Tenang. Berapa jam lagi? An hour. Okay. Is there anyone want to ask the question? Perhaps from the virtual participants. 
see coloring. Okay, no. Uh, the question was about the age of the group that do, who, those who are uh, like show, uh, saying like sahur sahur time. Yeah. Is that yeah. question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the cities, just uh, um, it's not the same, but but in in villages we have like a group of people who uh, who are living in the, the same village, but they are uh, they usually call. Uh, uh, sahur time and the playing drums, but uh, that does not depend on their, their uh, ages. But but the, we just choose in a family, maybe their children, mm -hmm. maybe they they uh, the younger uh, who are like you know can come out and uh, play drums and say that it's like uh, sahur time, sahari. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's kind of cool, you know. We only have like the what is it? The kids from the back of our house, like hitting the drum and then singing out loud. So I'm actually, so surprise! How can kids still wake yeah, up yeah, at no, two a.m.? <laughs> it's surprising that kids can wake up that late of the night. You know, it's kind of cool. So, anyone want to ask a question, perhaps, or answer? Question from virtual participant or from Are there any here? participants that want to ask the speakers? Oh yeah, or perhaps your opinion, perhaps about the what is it the sahur? What is it sahur alert? Perhaps sahur alert in two a.m. Okay, anyone want to perhaps share their opinion? Maybe no. Okay, oh, sure. Um, during your uh, fasting in Indonesia, what is your favorite food? <laughs> right. What is your favorite food? Yes. Okay, everyone from you first, perhaps? Um, I don't have any favorite food here because <laughs> I already uh, try the. The block. <laughs> yeah, back to some <laughs> Yeah, I already tried it, but yeah, maybe the store is not. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, perhaps from you. For me, uh, so far I don't find any fruits that. Uh, this is special for me, but uh, I've tried chimol. Chimol, oh, yeah. Uh, but it tastes like uh, a chewy boba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, so far, I've tried that one. And this um okay. Not too bad and not too nice. Very nice. Yeah, it is enak. Chilok, chilok, chimol. Yeah, yes, it's very nice. Um, for me, I don't have any specific, uh, special food, but, um, uh, uh, but I like uh, the nasi kebuli. Oh, yeah. But I think it's not, it's not so much different from in Malaysia. Thank you, yes, nasi kebuli is very good, but very expensive. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> Okay, so for how long I've been here for two months, I've tasted masakan padang, and I admit it was quite delicious. It was spicy compared to my country, but I think my country, my country, uh, it depends on the region. For Malacca, it very spicy, but here yeah, I think masakan padang is very delicious. But the thing is. It made me miss my country actually. <laughs> and uh, I, I, me and my roommate try to cook. We are kind of getting used to how this, how Indonesian civilian take the food. So we kind of getting used to it first. And I realized there's a lot of tahu gori here. Yeah. Especially in Bandung, so many tahu sumedang. 
Yeah, but I found one food store that sell a very delicious tahu goreng. So I never thought that tahu tahu can be that delicious actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. I see you like spicy food so much, but there are so many spicy food. Yeah, yeah there are so many spicy Indonesia. food that you should try in Bandung. Yes, yeah. nice. Uh, usually, I try new things every day and fruits, but I didn't remember the name. But uh, one food I like most is nasi goreng. Oh yeah, nasi goreng is everyone's favorite. You know, like nice choice. <laughs> what about you? Um, I have uh, tried a lot of uh, dishes here, and uh, I like the telur gulung. Telur gulung? Yeah, That's kind. my favorite food too! Uh, all of the yes. variety of uh, telur gulung I like. Yes. Like bihun, yes. uh, like yang, yang kecil-kecil. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And uh, that uh, served with a lot of bumbu and sauce. Yes. Uh, yes. I like kind of that. Very much. Lor guluk is very delicious, yes. It is not good for my body, yeah. but it is delicious indeed, yes. Yeah, so many lor guluk here on the streets. Yeah, there are so many lor guluk you should have to try outside our home. Okay, how about you? For me, uh, I really like uh, bakso. Because oh. uh, yes. in Malaysia, uh, we also serve bakso. Mm -hmm. But it is very different from... Indonesia. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. Um, spicy. Oh. A little bit spicy. <laughs> and another dessert, I think, the matabak manis. Ah, oh. matabak, yeah. Matabak is <laughs> nice. Uh, Miss Lia got so many different kinds of baso references. You could ask her. Yeah. Uh, mostly the food I've tried actually is similar to her because uh, whenever we buy the food, we buy it together. And so actually I'm hoping to taste more uh, the local food because I want to, uh, to uh, taste uh, and to know the difference between my uh, country foods. So I'm hoping to taste more of Lager's food. Yeah, okay. Let's explore more foods or culinary here in Indonesia. Yeah, there are tons of culinary, different kinds of culinary here in Indonesia. Yeah. How long have you been uh, staying here? By the way. About two months. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's okay. Yeah, it more time. Okay. okay, so perhaps there is no one want to response again from the virtual participants. So we're going to continue to the next session. Um, before we perhaps continue this exciting discussion, this exciting chit chat, we would like to invite all participants, both virtual participants and then physical participants alike, to play a game. And we will give two door prizes to the winner who win the game. Okay, so today we have quizzes. Perhaps everyone knows quizzes, right? And please open the website, joinmyquiz.com, and enter the game pin. No, you could join too. You could join too. Oh, you know there yes. are there are door prizes, oh. right? What what's the door prize? So, you know, you could just know. play the game. You know, you can know the door prize later. It's quite good. You know, yeah. it's nice. You can perhaps uh, break your fast with that. Which website? The website is your screen or perhaps you could just search quizzes and then enter the code via there don't miss it guys there's don't a cold door prize you don't want to miss it you don't want to miss it bisa buka puasa pakai hadiahnya lumayan oh what could that be oh nice if i'm not the mc i will also play the game too because i want to win the prize too you know i cannot Didi, Eka Didi actually a uh, master in this yeah. game, so <laughs> we're lucky. Eka Didi is not yeah. person. Yeah, someone chose me to be the MC, so I cannot like play the game, so I cannot like unleash my power as the Kahoot Master 3000, you know? Uh -huh. That's a shame. Okay, everyone, please join the quizzes and then join the code. Yeah, enter the you game code. code. Win nice door prizes. 
I won this door prize too, you know. <laughs> okay, it's only six, four, seven, eight. Okay, okay nice. Okay, let's join, let's join. Ayo, 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 join, ayo. Ayo, mari kita main. Cepat lagi. Sepuluh. Sepuluh, tiga belas orang lagi. Yeah, where are the other people? Fifteen. Where are the people? We can play the game, you know? Nice door prize to break your fast. Yeah, it's a fun game, right? Not it's, it is a fun game. game. I, I checked the question earlier and it's quite nice. Yeah, quite uh, quite easy for yeah, interesting um, like the question. Mm -hmm. There anyone want to oh there anyone want to join too? Okay. Only eleven, you know. That's not enough for this door prize. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, ada Aisha. Oh, let's go. And please input Aisha. your actual name so we can actually uh, data who's the winner of this game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Come on, join guys. Let's go. Let's play. Let's go. We're Come waiting guys. until 17 or 18, perhaps. Okay. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> okay, anyone want to join too? We join again. Okay. Okay, ada lagi. Silakan. Ayo, or we are going to start the game. I'm going to count until three. One, two. Two nine seven zero eight. Two nine two nine seven zero eight six. <laughs> okay, we're going to start the game. So, Karian, please start the game. Okay. All right. All right. The first question. One of the calendar. It's easy. I have said this. I said yeah, this earlier. I have mentioned this. Do you pay attention? So. If you pay attention, perhaps when I'm talking. Thank you more well. Oh, two more. Okay, time is up. So, what's the answer? Oh, the leaderboard first. There is. With, with the, the boys, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, okay oh it's the names okay pleasure or surprise or magic so easy it's so easy maybe you break at lunch you know you are kind of hungry and you want to take a bite you know you yeah. break your fast at lunch Oh, get this. Okay, one more person. Okay, all done. Okay, the leaderboard. Nah, Nadia is Nadia leading. Nuru. First okay. position. Okay, good luck, guys. Next question. Safar, Haram, Ramadan, Raja. This is a little tricky. This is a little tricky. Yeah, I try to forget about it. Okay. Okay. One. I think Nadia still win the game. Okay. Leaderboard, please. Oh, oh, Nadia. Oh, Nadia. Nice. Nice. Let's go. Next question. Next question. I think it's solar system, you know? It's definitely solar system, am I right? Uh, 
question oh no okay this is the end of the quiz okay it's all right it's fine whoever win whoever lose it's okay right but congratulations on the quizzes winners who is it iman and hafizullah musafi uh, you will get 100,000 rupiah in the Woo! form of link aja ovo or gopay you just need to send us your number on the chat box Okay, thank you. Um, you just need to send us your number on the chat box, or perhaps maybe if you're shy or you don't want anyone to see your phone number, you could send your number privately through the chat box to one of the international office staff. Okay, okay, right. It was such a fun game, don't yes, you think? Yeah, that was a fun game, right? <laughs> it is, it is. Also, what is it? Is it, is it susah? Is it difficult? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. So we only uh, uh, choose two people. Yeah, to be it's doing sad that we can only choose two it's people. Okay. It's okay. You can do it next time. Okay. okay, before we wrap up the event, there are still a few more questions for the speakers. Uh, for the first one, could you please tell us your memorable experience during Ramadan? Maybe you could share about uh, your childhood experience during Ramadan, or yeah, it's up to you. Maybe uh, like maybe you got yeah, like, during Ramadan it? with friends or family, or maybe you maybe perhaps got like what is it? Uh, Hari Raya money from your parents, perhaps you know the Lebaran money. You know, angpao, angpao. Was it called angpao? Yeah, yeah. Some memorable stuff, perhaps. 
No, want to share? Anyone? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, for every uh, year, our uh, my mom and my dad will give uh, like 300 ringgit, which is uh, like satu juta yeah. uh, for each of us. Yeah, that's a memorable because we can use that money to buy something that we want. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's, a <laughs> that's a big number. That's a big number. Satu juta rupiah. Ooh. 300 ringgit. Ooh. Nice. Anyone want to share perhaps their story, their Ramadan memorable story? You know, from the virtual participants or from the physical participants? Yeah, from the boys. From the boys oh. perhaps. Like maybe you played. What is it? Play it until Isha and forget to break your fast. Oh, you want to? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I think because of the COVID for the before last two years, I think I appreciate the Ramadan because for us, I got my family to eat with me. And I think in the Ramadan, that's the month that I behave the most. <laughs> compared to other months <laughs> and that's the only month that I think I am not too scared to watch horror movie at night because <laughs> yeah because there is no baby <laughs> so that's why that like yeah like I I feel like I can watch horror movie with my friends <laughs> so that's quite memorable <laughs> and it's so sad to happen us easier nice it is true though like on ramadan uh, satan or the iblis is like chained up so yeah they're yeah. caged um, they're they're ramadan. Chain up so yeah perhaps maybe anyone else want to share perhaps okay let's go uh, especially on one day before it will fit three mm -hmm. mostly girls came to our home and my sister used to draw flowers on their hands oh. That's and nice. for males, uh, we usually celebrate the night collectively with our cousins, with the whole family. Mm -hmm. And we have a big family, around 46 mm -hmm. male cousins. Mm -hmm. And same like females and uncles, so it's a good night. Okay. That's cool, drawing yeah. flowers. Oh, that's a new thing. That's interesting. That's quite amazing. Anyone want to share again? Okay. Mm, actually, uh, every Ramadan, my family uh, have some occasion where my mom will cook the food and we, the siblings, will pack the food and give the neighbors to and give the, our grandparents the food and sometimes uh, we call, uh, we share the food. And sometimes my mom uh, will do that about uh, the first at the first Ramadan or maybe uh, at the first week of Ramadan. We will cook and share the others. And I've, uh, actually, it's fun because <laughs> at that time, uh, I will uh, make sure that every uh, my siblings will do the work and ne <laughs> and never uh, uh, not like not uh, make sure they do the work. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh -huh. Okay, perhaps uh, we. I guess the times is up. It's already five p.m. right now, so we need to close up. Okay. Finally, we come to the end of today's session. Thank you to all the speakers and participants who have participated and enlightened today's event. Okay, thank you so much everyone for joining us today. And but before we would like to remind you to for the virtual participants to fill out the feedback to get an e-certificate, you may find the link on the chat box. And we still have more upcoming episode for the after class talk 2022. So don't forget to follow our Instagram on at IO Telkom Unif to find out more about the information. So perhaps maybe you guys could, you know, win the prizes again. Okay. 
Okay, and now I would like to invite all of you to take a photo together. So kindly turn on your uh, camera for virtual participants. And for the on-site participants, uh, please take a photo together in front of the backdrop. Job. Okay, for the physical participants, just take a picture there. Just stand up? Okay, just stand up. Okay, uh, put on your best poses. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, once, one again. Okay, once again. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah, okay. I think that's all good. And so that's uh, the end of the event. And uh, that's it for us. We apologize if there are any mistakes. And thank you for your attention. See you, See you at, at another, another event. event. Okay, terima kasih banyak semuanya. Silakan boleh dadah ke kamera. Saat kamera dadah gitu kan. Say bye. Okay. Terima kasih. <laughs> ya, terima kasih banyak. Selamat berbuka puasa. Berbuka. Belum berbuka ya, jangan berbuka dulu, masih jam 5. Yeah. Kita still yeah. have one hour, guys. <laughs> bukanya, bukanya ingat, bukanya jam 6 kurang. Jangan buka sekarang. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Oke, okay. thank you so much, everyone. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. Goodbye.